Hello, I am Dr. A.C. Asano in Children's Hospital of Michigan. Today, I will introduce our four-dimensional mapping for speech and language for neurosurgical evaluation. Invasive monitoring as part of pre-surgical evaluation can measure neural modulations with excellent signal fidelity and temporal resolution. We expected that measurement of high gamma activity on electrocorticography, also known as ECOG, would allow us to generate a four-dimensional mapping, taking into account the space and time information. In 2008, we generated an animation movie of high gamma activity during a language task. High gamma activity on ECOG was sequentially delineated on the individual three-dimensional MRI surface image. Yet, we were unable to assess the spatial extent of cortical modulations at the whole brain level. Because intracranial electrodes are placed only on portion of the brain surface strictly according to the clinical needs. In the present study, we overcame the spatial limitation of intracranial ECOG brain mapping by averaging high gamma measures across a large number of patients. We successfully generated a whole brain level 4D map for speech and language. All right, let's go. So Dr. Nakai, can you show us the results of our study? Sure. Patients are given auditory questions such as, what flies in the sky? As soon as a question begins, the superior temporal regions of both hemispheres show sustaining augmentation of high gamma activity. The inferior precentral gyri also show mild high gamma augmentation while patients listen to questions. The next part will show you high gamma modulation around the period when questions end. Before the end of question, high gamma activity is rather attenuated in the right frontal and parietal regions. Conversely, high gamma activity is augmented extensively in the left temporal and the frontal lobes and also in the left posterior cingulate area. The next part will show you the high gamma modulations around the period when patients verbally respond like bird or plane. Before response onset, high gamma activity is augmented in the superior frontal regions bilaterally. Maximally at response onset, high gamma activity is augmented in the inferior precentral gyri bilaterally. The principle of epilepsy surgery is to remove the seizure focus while maximally preserving functionally important brain areas. We believe our comprehensive brain map is useful to prevent language deficit after surgery. We also believe that our study has improved the understanding of neurobiology of language. Thank you very much.